Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's Jack from Blue Spy Graphics. What I would like to do today is show you how to create this smoke effect within Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, a real intricate and complex looking illustration, but I guarantee it when I show you the process of uh, how to create it, you'll be like, oh my God, how easy was this? I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process of how to create this effect, but then what I'd like you to do is take the ideas that I give you today and go and create some amazing stuff within your graphic design life. Okay, question should be, is how do you do it? And that's what I'm here to do today, to do today, today guys, show you the process of how to create this smoke effect. Okay, so with my selection tool, what I'm gonna now do is remove um, the original element in there, just by simply selecting it and pressing backspace. Okay, so using my line segment tool, what I'm gonna come through here now is create a nice straight line by a press shift. If I don't press shift, I'm all over the place, but if I can't press shift, it stays nice and straight in line. Just gonna increase uh, the weight of the stroke to about 0.25 points, and we're gonna keep the uh, color as white. What I'm gonna do using uh, my shortcut Command Plus on a Mac or Control Plus on Windows to zoom in. And using my selection tool, what I'm gonna now do is come through and use shortcut option on a Mac or Alt on Windows to duplicate, click and drag, and also as well press, press Shift to keep it nice and straight in line. Now we have a shortcut to continue that transformation, which is Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. And as you can see now, it's just repeating everything that I asked it to do there over and over again. Okay, let's, uh, let's zoom out. So now I'm gonna use a shortcut command minus, come out like so. Okay, maybe give it a couple more, couple of these there, command these. So, perfect. Now using my curvature tool, what I'm gonna do now is come through and create a shape like so. What I need to do now is come back and reverse on myself. Like so. Like so. And like so. Just going to fill this now. Swap the fill and the uh, stroke around on these option here. Shortcut to do that is Shift X. I'm going to come through and place this over our repeated uh, lines that we created earlier. Let's select everything. I'm going to go to Object. Envelope distort, we have these three options to use, but the one that we would want to be using is make with top object. And there you have it, guys. That is how you create the smoke effect within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website, our website at bluespygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.